you for asking. My name is Sanjeeva. I'm the founder and CEO of WSO2. So WSO2 is a globally renowned technology company that has products in API management, integration, and identity access management. And we came to Jitex to get uh, established ourselves here in the, in the region and to show our commitment to the region. Actually, we have just opened an office here, and Uday here is our general manager for the region, so. Yeah, so in, in fact, like just to add to what Sanjeeva said, right, we are trying to make an announcement uh, by our presence in Jitex this year, right? So we have opened our office, and we want to introduce WSO2 to the Middle East market here. So API integration is, uh, APIs in general first and then integration are really the fundamental asset of how you create digital experiences. So any business today that wants to compete in the, in the modern world has to offer a digital experience. To create a digital experience means you need to be able to create something that you offer and that's really where integration and API management comes in. So whether it is deployed in the cloud or whether it's deployed on-prem or whatever, everything that we use in the cloud is a bunch of APIs. So really API is the fundamental thing that drives everything today. So we, we already have a bunch of customers in Dubai. For example, Dubai Expo here is one of our customers. Uh, Smart Dubai is a customer, Dubai Police is a customer, Dubai Ports is a customer. Uh, so we have basically large enterprises are our primary customers. And maybe they can also add a little bit more about the kind of customers we're working on. Yeah, thanks, Sajiv. So the, the focus is more on the government sector because uh, a lot of digital innovations is happening in the, in the mm -hmm. government sector. So we are focusing heavily on the government sector. Apart from that, banking and healthcare are two key verticals where we have solutions to offer and we want to really drive the growth there. Sure, identity access management is sort of the second anchor of digitalization, which is if I'm going to build digital experiences, then my users are going to be digital users. That means identifying who that user is and protecting their identity, which is what customer identity access management is, is a fundamental component of going digital. So CIAM products help a, some customer who is building a digital experience for their customers to identify their users, to do the right things, protect their identities, manage their identities, and give the personalized experience that customers expect in the digital world. Yes, so WSO2's cloud infrastructure, we also offer our products both on-premise as an open source technology, as well as in the cloud. So we run our cloud infrastructure on Microsoft Azure. We are a partner of Microsoft in going forward with, the, with the, those offerings and we can also support other cloud providers as well. Yes, so we have been working in the integration space from the beginning of the company. The company is now 16 years old. The technology for integration at the time was built on these concepts of creating domain-specific languages, which were drag and drop UIs and so on. Uh, but today, the integration is much more fundamental. Programming has become integration, and integration is programming. So we have been working on a new programming language called Ballerina, which is designed fundamentally for the problem of integration, for data-oriented programming, for the cloud. And that's, that's now available. It's going to be generally available by end of this year. And it's expected to, uh, our target is to make it the next, uh, next number one programming language. In this region, we see on-premise deployment still being pre more predominant. And we also recognize that given the global implications of cloud, there are many, especially government sector scenarios where you absolutely have to have it on-premise or at least in a local cloud. So, so the definition of on-premise also is changing. It used to be that it's the physical hardware in my building. Now it means virtual hardware that are, that's under my control, but typically physically within my region at least. So, so we, uh, we still see a large percentage of customers in the on-premise world, but we also see that will evolve over the next you know, 10 years as people get more comfortable with and, and where, where global structures get set up for better management of cloud uh, policies.